In this video we will step through the new list wizard. Uh, where I left off previously was I've just installed the plugin, I've entered my Twilio information and saved my changes now. I should be able to go to the new list wizard and set up my first list. So um, the list name is for your purposes only and uh, no one else will see this unless you grant access to uh, a client but um, in this case we could um, make something up okay and uh, so you just name it something um, meaningful and if you have more than one list for a particular client you could have you know um, weekend specials or you know weekly specials or lunch specials or just describe it however it makes sense to you. Now if I go into the next step which is uh, creating a client if you wish. Now I recommend creating a client and using uh, Twilio sub account and uh, the reason for that is when you do that you can easily turn off a client that uh, maybe isn't paying or if a client um, uh, you don't you don't have that client anymore you can easily turn off their entire account and you won't be charged anymore for that so it's kind of an easy way to manage clients so I'd recommend setting up a new client so if you select new client from the drop down you'll be given some options here and you can go um, you can call the client something similar to the list it really is up to you and then um, the three options here are you can use the default uh, or the main Twilio settings which is uh, what we just entered on the previous screen uh, in the previous video where we entered our main Twilio account um, you can do that however I do recommend creating a sub account which will like I said, it'll keep that separate from the rest of your account. You could also enter manual settings if you like. So if you want to override, if you want, if you want this client to have their own Twilio account, um, you could enter their settings here. But for now, let's just go with create sub account. And then if you want, you don't have to, but you can set a, a monthly limit. So whatever you enter here, this will be the messaging limit for this client. Now the next the next step is to choose a phone number. Um, what we're going to do is um, uh, select uh, a new one. These are already in my account. That's why those are showing up. But I could do a search in my area for a phone number via area code. I could also enter if I'm looking for certain digits or even letters. And say you're looking for a number with the, the word text in it. You could search the entire United States um, and 8398 is actually anywhere you see an 8398 um, that is actually the word text on the keypad. So you could have some fun with that. 632 text for example or 503 text. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to get in your own area code but uh, that might not be likely depending on what's out there. You could try something shorter and see what comes up as well. So for now I'm just gonna uh, leave that blank and search for my own area code and uh, just pick pick a random number. Actually let's try a couple of zeros maybe. Alright so um, I'm just going to choose this one and uh, move on to the next screen here. Now keywords, uh, this is what when people text in to your list what they will actually be typing into uh, into their text message. So for Rick's Pizza Shop it might make sense to text the word pizza. Uh, you could also have another um, keyword. Uh, you could enter as many as you want here separated by spaces and a keyword can only be a single word. So um, another uh, another trick is to make, if you have multiple uh, lists on one phone number, which you can have, so 
uh, let's say your client, your pizza client, you assign them a phone number, and um, you have multiple lists. You have a lunch list, uh, a weekend specials list, a dinner list, that type of thing. Um, you might want one of them to be the default or to work as the default list. So if someone sends in a, a keyword that doesn't match any other list, you want them to default to this list. So if you add the keyword default, um, that will make this list the default. Okay, text to speech. Now I, I can enter something here, for example, uh, so whatever I type in here will be synthesized a computerized voice. Thanks for joining our Pizza VIP Club. Keep in mind this a computer is reading this and it, it, although it does sound pretty good pretty good you do want to test it because um, uh, if you typed in VIP without the um, spaces it might give a different result than you would expect the computer might choose to re read it as VIP versus VIP but uh, I don't know that off the top of my head but just something to be aware of um, okay and then of course you could go longer on this on this um, message uh, pretty much as long as you want I would keep it down to less than a minute um, now in the audio you can also uh, uh, instead if you, you want to record an audio you can do that as well so I could um, if you supply an audio file here it will override the, any text you enter up here so I can um, go into the WordPress upload uh, function and then I, I could browse to a file, an mp3 file and so I could select Rick, Rick's Pizza here and it will automatically upload and when it does you'll see it uh, listed here and to insert what you need is this URL here and all you need to do is click insert into post and it will automatically insert this URL into the, the field okay so this means that not only could you upload uh, a file to your website this way but if you have a file that's on the, the internet or a website elsewhere if you have the URL to that file you could enter that here uh, another uh, great feature of the um, call to subscribe um, is that you can transfer people to uh, another phone number so um, if um, in your message you would prompt people you could say press 1 to order a pizza now for example um, so when people call and uh, they press 1 actually they can press any number 0 through 9 and it will transfer to this whatever phone number you enter here as long as you have one so uh, in your recording be sure to mention that that is if you want to use that feature now moving on to the messages we're going to type in a few messages here real quick I want to pause the video while I do that okay so um, I've entered a few messages here for demonstration purposes but um, you'll see that um, there are four different messages the first message is for brand new subscribers, people that have never uh, joined this particular list before. Um, so this gives you the ability to give them a special offer of some sort, knowing that they will only get this offer once, no matter what. Now, I, you can't stop it if they have a second cell phone, their wife has a cell phone, their kids have cell phones, whatever. Um, but this will track on a per cell phone basis or per um, mobile number basis so that uh, people can't scam the system they can't keep texting in and getting this special offer over and over again they will only get it once now what you enter into all these fields is up to you you might enter that special offer in all of these but um, in most cases you're going to want a different message on the first one so in this case we're giving them free breadsticks 
and we're setting an expiration date of three days out. Note that um, there is a special merge field that you can use uh, with the square brackets, date, colon, and then a number. Uh, in this case, it'll insert a date automatically three days from now. So um, when they get their message, they won't see date colon three. They're going to see a date that's three days into the future, and that's an expiration date. So you set this up once, and whenever the person hits this, um, so if they join your list next week, they're going to get an expiration date that's three days after that. Uh, you could also do things like, come in between you know date one and date three or date one and date two and for a special offer that is something restaurants uh, use so that um, it has a quick turnaround a quick expiration date they have to come in they can't if you set a between date so between date one and date three um, that means they can't use the coupon immediately they have to have a return visit to use it so um, Actually, Groupon, I believe, uses something like that where you can't use the Groupon that day. Uh, some of these things uh, do some things like that to help the business owner out. But uh, anyway, the last thing is you want to end your message with uh, how to get off the list. And uh, notice my spelling here, R-P-L-Y, and then stop pizza to cancel, again, without an E. Um, we found that... Uh, in particular Verizon will filter out messages that if you just said reply stop to cancel and spelled it out it would be filtered by Verizon so you we tweak that a little bit so that um, uh, it can make it through uh, to the to the subscriber uh, also note that I used a keyword here on a previous screen I used a keyword pizza here so now when I go back to messages um, I, I want to specify. I mean, you don't have to do this. The, really, the only time you need to, to specify a keyword is if you have multiple lists that use the same phone number. So if they next week, they let's say they're on two lists for this client. They're on the lunch list and a um, the, the pizza list or the, the dinner list, and they hit and they send the keyword stop. Um, there's no way to know what list they want to stop from so they get removed from all the lists um, this is a good this is re a, a good reason to kind of have one list per phone number so keep that in mind um, now if they reply stop pizza I know that they they only want off this particular list the pizza list the keyword so uh, that's why that's there okay now to the second message which is a current subscriber this is for someone that's already on the list. They're, they've gotten the new subscriber message once already. They're still on the list. They send the keyword pizza again for some reason. Maybe they're trying to see if they can get those free breadsticks again. And uh, But instead they get a reply that says something different. In this case I just said thanks for being on Rex Pizza VIP list. Uh, the third um, message is for what I call re-subscribers. People that have unsubscribed because they texted the word stop and they got off the list and now <clears throat> they are actually texting the keyword pizza again so they're getting back on the list and uh, but because they've been on the list before and they already got the special message or that special breadsticks offer uh, I want to welcome them back but I don't want to um, really offer anything else at this point because people could take advantage of that so I will send out, you know, I'll use the broadcast messages to send out special offers during the week. But this time, <clears throat> they're not going to be able to game the system by getting off, getting back on, and that type of thing. And then finally, the unsubscriber message. Now, if they reply with um, stop pizza, meaning I know that because they supplied the keyword pizza, I know that this is the list they're unsubscribing from, I can send them a specific um, response uh, as a confirmation that they're off the list. So uh, we just say we're, we're sorry to see you go. Reply pizza anytime to get back on Rex Pizza VIP list. Okay, and that pretty much that covers the uh, all the various messages here. So let's go on to the last step, which is to 
to go ahead and confirm. Now, if if for for some reason I uh, let's say I forget to enter a field, you'll see that I got a little red X or red triangle with the X in it. And if I go to conf try to submit the list, it'll tell me I have to correct that. So let's go back over here, type that back in, and go back over to confirm. <coughs> create my list. So when it's done, it redirects me to the list that I just created. So you now see that we're in SMS list, and I'm on the Rick's Pizza Shop list. And here's all the information I entered. Uh, the keywords I entered, pizza, default, there's the phone number, uh, there's the text-to-speech I had entered, there's the audio file, there's the transfer number, and uh, there are some more options here that are not part of the wizard, but uh, you can set those up at, at any time as well. So for now, I'm going to leave that and come back in another video to go into more detail about the other features here. But... Um, that's how the wizard works. It gets you set up and, and running quickly and um, without, uh, hopefully with, with getting all the, the proper setup so that uh, things run smoothly and quickly for you.